everyone. In this video, I want to talk about in comparison between Embattled Elements and Adobe Stock. And in some other video, I already talked about the Embattled Elements alternatives, but now I want to do a first to first or face to face comparison between Embattled Elements and Adobe Stock. And what is the main advantage that I have seen in Embattled Elements? And well, if you're a web designer, it has plenty of templates or it actually also has a plugin that could help you to build up a better WordPress website. If it's actually also even for free, so even if you download the Elementor uh, plugin and also the Embato Elements plugin, you can do it for free, test it out and see if it works and keep it like that. Or if you want to go more on an advanced level, you just paid for the, your, the yearly subscription for both, even the pro, the pro version of Elementor and also the uh, Embato Elements license. And that's a good thing, but talking about website terms. Adobe Stock doesn't have anything for website building or so. Adobe Stocks, if you compare those things, probably that could be in disadvantage, but it's because Adobe Stock doesn't focus on that area of website building. I think they already have some other uh, software, Adobe itself, that can help you, but actually I don't use it. And well, if we focus more on the stock area, well, where is here the comparison? I would recommend better Embato Elements if you are more of a web designer and even also like social media marketer. Why? Because there are plenty of images and also video stock. Because there are also already plenty of image stock and videos and audio that can be used for plenty of any commercial purposes or personal purposes. And you don't have this limit as in Adobe Stock where you have to pay for the credits. And that's, I think, I don't know if I can say a disadvantage, but if you pay the $170 or $180 per year with Embato Elements in comparison with the $50 per month, more or less, uh, on Adobe Stocks, so, and for only 10 credits, well, in which moment I would recommend Adobe Stock? Well, only if you found a very specific image that is the one that you want and if it's really high quality and so on but sometimes and I will put here on the screen some examples that I found similar images uh, of a guy like a business guy if you look for the term businessman and I will try to set it up you will have the same image and actually like are you going to pay this much amount for this image and you find it even cheaper on Embato Elements. And if you're like marketer or a good eye guy, probably like me that put attention to the details, or probably me that I also have like, uh, that I follow like international accounts. I have found that like this guy in several, so many businesses using it. And I don't know which stock images are people using it, but I find it funny because, well, it's the same guy and if, I don't know if they are already paying this amount or the other amount, I don't know. It's, well, it will depend on your business objectives and on your budget. If you're building a website and if you don't have that much amount of traffic in one page and paying uh, too much of your budget, well, it's not that saying that Adobe Stock is not really good, but it's also putting yourself in uh, this concern of lowering costs and setting, okay, this is very like more informational page. I just want some stock image that it's for, okay, here's my privacy policy and has a footer with some image. Do you really want to spend like $100 or $50 for one image when you can use like a more general that probably people won't look or it will depend on the business aim gold and brand and of course there are also other alternatives in like get images or shooter stock that they're like really high quality and you say okay this picture worth it I will pay it but in some cases it's like putting yourself on a balance and knowing okay which of these two options are good so this is my recommendation between Embato Elements and Adobe Stock but now talking about the disadvantage about Embato Elements nothing is really like a honeymoon, I can say. They also has their 
they have also their disadvantages and the disadvantages that I see on Ebato Elements is sometimes they don't have like the really good uh, customer support is the things that people have mentioned on the channel. I personally didn't have the need uh, to contact customer support so it's not that I can really say okay they're really good or bad but sometimes I think I made only one question and they took a little bit of time. Another disadvantage that I have seen is that Envato Elements, if you pay for the yearly subscription, if, if you cancel like on the mid uh, term of the plan, you won't get the money back. So please take that in consideration if you're planning to pay the full year uh, because they don't give refunds. And so if you're like wondering if it's good for you or not for you, then probably test first the one month and then if you change your mind, then probably jump for another plan. So that's another disadvantage that they don't have uh, really good customer support. And also another disadvantage is that uh, not all the files that are on Ambato Elements are really high quality. They also have like many files and video templates so on that mm, probably they're more like desirable to be low quality, I can say or pretty old files used with CS6 in the Adobe uh, software. So that means that they were like kind of old. Yes, they say they have tons of uh, files, but please take that also in consideration. And talking more now in the site of Adobe, Adobe Stock, well, it's more like on a on-demand thing, because if you have the plan and if you have already the credits to spend, well, you can choose or you can even download the preview file and just add it. And then if you're fine with it, okay, you just spend the credit. But if you're going to need plenty of images, audio, and uh, many other probably illustrations, it could be getting more costly. And yeah, well, you will have to get a bigger budget for, for that side. So it would also depend on, again, on balancing your needs. And also to end, another thing about the Mbato elements, it's also worth mentioning the music. Because on the music area, they also have some, yes, they are copyright free, but some are pre-registered in YouTube. So if you're planning to use some Mbato elements music, then try it. Well, I prefer to avoid these ones that they are, already have this pre-registered uh, condition on YouTube to avoid any sort of copyright. Yes, you have the license, but you have to send it back. And honestly, like to avoid more work, I prefer to leave those and I just like try to aim for the non PR and also the non YouTube um, registered. So that's another thing that to be considered in the battle elements or there are already some other alternatives to these um, digital platforms such as Monster One, uh, Storyblocks, uh, Freepik, and I already have talked about those in the Embato Alternatives video. So if you have any questions or any comment, don't hesitate to write. If you like the video, thumbs up and thanks for watching.